Welcome to Amazing Dinosaurs. This is a collection of Jurassic World's best carnivore figures. And today we're setting them up from biggest to smallest. Our first and biggest carnivore is this super colossal Carnotaurus Toro figure. It's got the classic orange and brown body and the horns at the top of its head, along with the battle damage on its face. So we're gonna set this figure on the left side as our biggest figure and follow that up with another super colossal figure. Now this one is the Giganotosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It has the green and black body and some really cool teeth. Now let's place that next in size next to the Carnotaurus. Our next big figure is the mighty Indominus Rex dinosaur. And this Indominus Rex comes with two features. First is the button on its tail that you can press for the chomp and second is the button on its back for the claw slashing action. Now let's place this next in size in our carnivore line. Next in size is a figure that isn't tall, but it certainly is very large. This is the Mosasaurus figurine. It has an adjustable jaw, adjustable fins, and an adjustable tail. So now let's put that next in line as our next biggest carnivore. All right, check it out. We've got another Giganotosaurus figure, although this version is quite a bit smaller than the super colossal version. But this figure's got some pretty cool features that make up for it. First is the button on the tail that activates a huge torso swinging action. And second is a button underneath its tail to activate the chomping action. All right, now let's put that next in size. This next figure here is a pretty interesting one. This is a Pyroraptor, but it is actually battery operated and is an intelligent figure. Now that it's on, check out those glowing red eyes and you can actually interact with it too. I press it on the top of its head here and underneath its chin too. So we're gonna place that next in size right next to the Giganotosaurus. And here is our first T-Rex figure of this carnivore collection. This is a classic brown T-Rex and it has a button on the top of its head for the chomping action. All right, let's place that next in line. And here is another T-Rex. This one is a bit more gray with brown on the top compared to the more tan coloring of the previous one. And it has the fully posable body, even the neck can move around, and of course the button at the top of the head for the chomping action. And let's set that one up next in line next to the other T-Rex. And here is another T-Rex figure, but this one is part of the Legacy Collection. So it's one of the few ones that come in the green coloring, which I really like. And of course it has the button on its head for the chomping action, just like the others. And we're gonna go ahead and set this next in line. Got three T-Rexes right next to each other. Next up for this carnivore collection is the Tarbosaurus figure. It's got some really cool spikes running all the way along its back. And you can use the tail to move the head around in a lifelike way. All right, let's set this next to the T-Rex figures. Quite a bit smaller as you can see. Next up is is a Scorpios Rex figure. I'm sure you recognize this one from the Jurassic World movies. Now this is the basic figure, so there is no action button, but you can still adjust the arms, the legs, and the tail. And I gotta say, this one is quite a scary predator. So let's place this next in line, next to the Tarbosaurus. Here I've got a Carcharodontosaurus figure in the tan coloring with the orange and brown accenting. This figure has a ton of little spikes running along its back all the way up to its head, and it has a single action button on its back for a head jumping action. Now let's go ahead and set this up next in size. The next carnivore is this Bistahivosaur figure, or at least that's how I think you pronounce it. This figure is from the Dino Tracker series. It has some massive spikes on its tail, as well as this little pack that it's wearing. And this figure has two action buttons. The first activates the spikes on its back. They actually move up and down. And the second button activates a head chomping action. Now it looks like we're out of room over here, so we're gonna start a new line all the way over here. The next figure from Jurassic World is this Sound Surge Carnotaurus figure. It has an all red body with a little bit of white on its chin and on its neck, and a single button on its back to activate the sound effects. <laughs> Very cool, let's set this up next in line. Now here's another super scary carnivore figure from Jurassic World. This is the Endoraptor figure. It's got the black body with the gold striping and this is a very intelligent carnivore species. So let's put this next in size in our carnivore line. This next figure is a pretty uncommon dinosaur. This is a Sinotyrannus figure. And this is also from the Dino Tracker series. You can see this headpiece and backpack that it's got. And you can see that there are two action buttons. The first one activates its head for a chomping action. And the second button activates the tail swinging action. 
And here we go, next in line. Here is an Allosaurus figure. I believe this one is from Camp Cretaceous. This Allosaurus is in the brown and blue coloring and it has a slide lever action on its back for the sound effects and poses. That is very cool. So let's set this next in size. And now we've got a Baryonyx figure. This one is also in the brown and blue coloring, but it also has some reflective blue coloring right along the top of its head. Plus, it has a single action button on its back for the chomping action. And we're gonna set it down right next to the Allosaurus. This next figure is from the Hammond collection. This is the Ceratosaurus figure. It's got the yellow with brown striping and then the red that leads up to its all red face. So let's put this one right next to the Baryonyx figure. And next we've got an Amber collection Velociraptor figure. This one is in a really cool bright orange coloring with the brown striping. And like all Amber collection figures is super posable. And let's set that down right there. But but let's not forget about the Dilophosaurus figures. These dinosaurs are some pretty scary carnivores. This figure has some adjustable frills that you can open and close, and I believe this one actually came out as part of the first Jurassic World movie, so it's pretty old. Now let's put that one right there. Now we've got another Hammond Collection figure here. This one is an Irritator figure. I got this one pretty recently and it's pretty cool. It's got the gray coloring over its body with the yellow striping and dotting. And it's got the black around its face and finally the red on its crown. Pretty cool figure for the Hammond Collection and we're gonna put that next in size. And next up is another Velociraptor figure. This is Velociraptor Blue, but this one's pretty special because it is actually battery operated. And you can actually interact with it by pressing this button on the top of its head or pressing underneath its chin. So now let's put that next in line. And I've also got an Atrociraptor version of that same figure both with the same sound effects and with the ability to walk around. So let's put this next in line. Next up, it may not be tall, but it certainly is very long. This is a Pteranodon figure from the Amber Collection. And this Pteranodon's pretty special because its wings are actually a rubber. So it is very flexible, just like a real wing would be. All right, now let's see if we can get that in line next to the Atrociraptor. And now we've got a Sarcosuchus figure in the blue, orange, red, and purple coloring. And best of all, you can use the tail and the button on the tail to move its head around in a really lifelike way. All right, let's get that next in line, next to the Pteranodon. And now it's time to open up this brand new figure from the Legacy Collection. This is the Dr. Ellie Sattler Risky Rescue Pack. Here is this brand new set. First off, we've got a dark green Velociraptor that came as part of the set. And I think it's pretty much like the other Velociraptor figures I have. There's no attack button or anything like that, but it looks like you can open and close the mouth. And then we've got this awesome Jurassic Park Jeep with Dr. Ellie Sattler driving inside. And it looks like you can even open these bins in the back and store other material inside of it. So now let's go ahead and place these next in line. And we'll go ahead and put the Velociraptor in the car right next to Dr. Ellie Sattler. Better look out. Up next, we've got another Velociraptor figure, but this one is in a bright blue coloring, and it is actually a spring-loaded Velociraptor. So you can press down on its legs and then let it spring into the air. And we'll put this one right here. We'll start a new line in the front. And here's another one. This is also a spring-loaded Velociraptor, but this one is in a bright red and green coloring. And check out that spring-loaded action and put this one right there. Next up is a Herrerasaurus figure. This one has a really long and narrow snout, and it's got the all green body with a little bit of blue on the top. So let's go ahead and put this one next in line. And here is our next one. This one is actually a juvenile or baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it is quite small, but it actually still has an attack feature that when you press down on its tail, it has a chomping action. That's pretty cool. So now let's place that next to the Herrerasaurus. All right, now we're getting down to the really small ones. This is a Snap Squad Carnotaurus figure. You can see the horns on the top of its head and the battle damage that's right on its nose. So let's place that one right next to the Juvenile T-Rex and look at the size difference even there. And next, we've actually got a Velociraptor Beta figure. Quite small, but it still has the iconic blue stripe 
just like Velociraptor Blue. And we'll set Velociraptor Beta down next in line. Next up is a miniature Spinosaurus figure in the gray and green coloring. And this figure is so small that you actually can't move any of its body parts. And we'll set it up right there in line. And for our final figure in the collection is this miniature Baryonyx figure that I think was released for part of Jurassic World Dominion. So now let's go ahead and place that as the final carnivore in this collection. Today we're going to be checking out a collection of some of my scariest carnivore dinosaurs from biggest to smallest and we're going to be putting them up over here to check them out side by side. So let's get started with the biggest one, the Indominus Rex. This figure is absolutely massive. It is larger than a lot of my T-Rex figures and this is actually the battle damage edition. See it turns red when you press the button, which is really cool. Plus. The rest of the body is very adjustable. You can move all its arms, its legs, you can adjust its neck, and it even has a button on its tail to activate the jaw. So let's go ahead and set the Indominus Rex down at the edge right over here. Moving on, let's see what the next largest dinosaur is. Probably the Giganotosaurus. This is another super large figure. It's got the green body with the black detailing all over, and it has a few actions actually as well. The first action is a button on the top of its tail that activates the swinging action with its entire upper torso. And there's also a button beneath its tail to activate just the jaw alone. All right, let's put this Giganotosaurus down right next to the Indominus Rex. And look at the size difference even between those two as well. That's pretty crazy. All right, next up, let's see. I bet it's one of the T-Rexes and it's probably the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This figure has some awesome coloring and shading and is the most poseable out of basically all my T-Rex figures. And an interesting feature of the Hammond collection is the realistic parts of its mouth. It's got these flaps on its side that are rubber, so they actually move around pretty realistically. The tongue is also rubberized as well. Let's put this Hammond collection T-Rex right next to the Giganotosaurus. All right, I bet the next biggest one is this other T-Rex figure. This is a Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. It's got some brand new coloring. It's got the orange brown color and some gray detailing on the top. And this is actually an extreme battle damage T-Rex. You can press the button to reveal the damage on its side, just like that Indominus Rex over there. So since this is the next biggest T-Rex, let's put it down right next to the Hammond Collection T-Rex. All right, looking pretty good so far. Next up in size is this Allosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This is the largest Allosaurus figure that I have, and it actually has some battle damage on the side. Let me show you that. Right here, you see it's hidden completely right now, but then you can click it down to reveal the ribs, and then you can even lift those up to reveal the intestines inside. This is really cool, and the only Allosaurus that I have that can do that. Plus, it has an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Let's put this Allosaurus down right next to the extreme battle damage T-Rex. Let's see, what's next biggest in size? I think it might be this Endoraptor right here. This thing's pretty large. It's got the all black body with the iconic gold stripe down its side. And this one actually has a few actions. You can see there's a little button on its tail right there to activate its arms. And there's a button at the bottom of its tail to activate its jaw too. All right, let's set this Endoraptor down next to the Allosaurus. That Allosaurus is quite a bit larger. All right, let's keep digging. I think this Carnotaurus might be the next largest size. It's got some battle damage on its nose and it is the darker brown version of the Carnotaurus. And it has the action button on its tail to activate the jaw as well. Let's set it down. You know what? I think it might be larger than the Endoraptor, so let's go ahead and have them switch places real quick. 
There we go, that's looking better. Over here we've got another Carnotaurus figure, but this one is smaller than the one that I just showed you, and it is a bit more brightly colored. It's a brighter red, it has the light underbelly, and then the black detailing on the top, and it has an action button on its back instead of its tail to activate the jaw. All right, let's set it down. Right next to the Endoraptor. Let's see, I think the next biggest carnivore in this collection is a Tarbosaurus. And this is definitely a scary looking carnivore. Check out that red underneath its chin and those red eyes too. And all those spikes, those are massive. Let's put this down right next to the Carnotaurus. Check out all those dinosaurs we have so far. Super cool. All right, let's see, next in size, maybe this other Allosaurus figure right here. This Allosaurus has a slide lever action on its back, so you get a bunch of different sound effects with it. You can get a growl all the way to a roar. All right, let's set this dinosaur down right next to the Tarbosaurus, and it is quite a bit smaller than the Tarbosaurus. Next up, I think, is the Giganotosaurus. This is the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus, so a whole lot smaller than the one that we saw earlier, but it has the same coloring and detailing, and it has sound effects that you can hear that you can activate by pressing this button up top. All right, let's set it down right next to the Allosaurus. They're actually pretty similar in size. So it might be a little hard to tell who's larger, but I think it's still the Allosaurus. Next, I think, is a Pyroraptor figure. This is the new Jurassic World Dominion version, and it is the basic version as well, so you can't open and close the jaw, but you can move the arms, the legs, and the tail a bit. Let's set this down right next to the smaller Giganotosaurus figure. <laughs> Next up in size in the Scary Carnivore Collection is the Mega Raptor. This thing has some super bright coloring. You can tell that it is a feathered dinosaur. You can see some feathers on its legs, on its tail, on its arms. It's pretty cool. So let's set this down right next to the Mega Raptor. <laughs> next up is this slightly smaller Endoraptor. A bit smaller than the earlier version that we saw, but it has the same coloring, and this one actually does not have any action buttons, but it is super poseable. Let's put this down next to the Mega Raptor. Next in size, we've got the basic Atrociraptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This has the white body with the brown striping all over and those bright red eyes. Let's put this down next to the smaller Endoraptor. Here is an Amber Collection Velociraptor. I can't remember which Velociraptor this is, but it has the brown coloring with the darker striping all over its body. Looks like we're running out of room on the edge there, so we're gonna create a new row right up in front here. Next is this much smaller Indominus Rex figure. This is an earlier version of the Indominus Rex compared to this one way over here on the edge, and look at that size difference too. And actually, I think this smaller Indominus Rex has a slightly more blue tone than the super large one. It's pretty cool. Let's put this down right next to the Amber Collection Velociraptor. For the next smallest scary carnivore, I've actually got this brand new one from Jurassic World Dominion. This one, I believe, is pronounced Aquilmosaurus. Let's open it up. So this is a pretty interesting looking dinosaur, and it's actually an extreme battle damage addition that you can see on the sides. Just click this button, and there you go, you reveal the damage underneath. Plus, you can pose its neck, and I think you can even open and close its mouth, too. There we go, that's pretty cool. Let's put this down next to the Indominus Rex. The next up in size of scary carnivores is this extreme battle damage Pyroraptor. Just like the dinosaur that we just saw, there's a button on top that activates the battle damage. Plus, the rest of its body is poseable as well. And check out the size difference from this Pyroraptor to this basic Pyroraptor right there. A huge difference in size. Let's put it down right up front here. All right, now we're getting down to the really small ones. Here is a super small Atrociraptor figure. It has the same color as the basic Atrociraptor that we saw earlier, but is a whole lot smaller. So let's put this right next to the Pyroraptor. And I've actually got one more Atrociraptor figure in here with totally different coloring. 
This one is a bright orange with tan stripes on its body, and it's got some yellow evil looking eyes. So let's put this right next to the smaller Atrociraptor right in front. And it looks like we've got a few Velociraptor figures in here. This first one is Velociraptor Blue with the iconic blue striping down both sides of its body. So let's put Velociraptor Blue right next to the orange Atrociraptor. And this other Velociraptor that I've got in here is a brown and yellow Velociraptor. It's pretty similar to Velociraptor Blue, but different coloring and it's got some reflective green eyes. That's pretty cool. Let's set this one down. And finally, I've got some super small Jurassic World scary carnivore figures in here. Let's put these on the table and check them out one by one. I think the first largest is probably this Baryonyx. I think it's a Baryonyx figure. It's all green in color, so not a whole lot of difference with the coloring, but it's got a decent amount of texturing. Let's put this next to the larger Velociraptor. Next up in size, let's see, I think is probably this Velociraptor figure. This one has two different colors on it, even though it's so small. Oh no, actually three. It's got a pink tongue and the two tones of gray on its body. That's pretty cool. Let's put it down next to the Baryonyx. Next up is the Carnotaurus figure. I got this one pretty recently in a pack and you can actually open and close its mouth. Let's set this one down here. And last of all is this Baryonyx figure that actually came in the same pack as this little Carnotaurus. Let's put them side by side and it is a bit smaller. All right, we're finished. Today we are checking out some of the best and coolest carnivore figures from Jurassic World and ranking them from biggest over here all the way to the smallest over here. So let's get started with the biggest one, this super colossal custom colored T-Rex. This T-Rex has some fiery red coloring and is one of the brightest super colossal figures that I have. So let's put this at the very end as our biggest. And I've got another super colossal figure in this collection. This one is the Giganotosaurus. This figure has some reflective gold eyes and some of my favorite teeth on any Jurassic World figure. The next largest carnivore in this collection is this custom colored Indominus Rex. Just like the super colossal T-Rex over there, this one is colored super bright and very artistically rather than realistically. Let's set this down next in line. Next up, I've got another Indominus Rex figure, but this one is colored a lot more realistically. And this one is actually the original coloring of this custom painted one right over here. So they are actually identical in size. Next up is one of the coolest carnivores that I have. This is the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure came out pretty recently. And this carnivore is one of my favorites because of how poseable it is and how much more detail there is to its entire body. Next up is another Giganotosaurus figure. This one is nearly identical to the super colossal Giganotosaurus in its color and its details. But this figure actually has a few features. The first is a torso swinging action. And the second is a jaw chomping action. So let's set it down next in line. This next one is a T-Rex figure. This is actually a Terran T-Rex. Check it out, it's got two buttons on its back. The first activates the Terran action, and the second button swings its double jointed tail. This is a pretty massive T-Rex figure, so let's set this next in line. I've got another T-Rex right over here. This one is the Camp Cretaceous T-Rex. It's got some pretty realistic coloring all over its body, and it's gotten a button on its tail to activate the jaw with sound effects and roaring. All right, let's get this one next in line. Let's see here, the next one in size might actually be this brand new one right over here. This is the Sound Surge Indominus Rex. Let's check it out. So this Indominus Rex is quite a bit smaller than the one that we saw earlier. Check out the size difference here. It has similar coloring though. And the best part of course are the sound effects. <sighs> 
Moving on to the next biggest carnivore, I think is this Yang Chuanasaurus figure. And instead of sound effects on this figure, it has a button on its tail to activate the jaw. Check it out, I've actually got another Sound Surge dinosaur in here. This is the Carnotaurus edition. And let's check out those sound effects too. Very cool, let's set this down next in line. This figure right here is a newer figure. I believe it's called the Nano Tyrannus. And it's got two buttons hidden on its back. The first one activates its jaw, and the second one activates the tail. Next is another recently released dinosaur. This is the Eocarcharia. It's got the feather texturing all over its body and an action button on its back to activate the jaw. This figure was released as part of Jurassic World Dominion. This is a Scorpiovenator. It's got some pretty bright coloring and it's got an action where you press down on its back and it chomps. Next, from Camp Cretaceous, we've got the Scorpios Rex. This actually isn't the largest Scorpios Rex that I have, but it has some really cool dark green coloring and the yellow underbelly, and fully adjustable arms, legs, tail, and head, too. <coughs> Way over here on the end, I've got the Ichthyovenator dinosaur. It's got the long, narrow snout, it's got the spine on its back, and it has the chomping action when you press down on its body. Here's another dinosaur that I bought recently. If I remember correctly, this is called a Dryptosaurus or something very close to that. It's got spikes all over its body, a little bit of bright blue on its face, and an action button on its back to activate its jaws. Let's set that down right next to the Ichthyovenator. Next up is a pretty vintage and hard to find Jurassic Park Allosaurus figure. This figure is pretty cool because it actually has battle damage that you can take off completely to reveal the insides. And I think this one is the next biggest, so let's put this next in line. Next in size, we've got the Hammond Collection Baryonyx figure. I've got tons of Baryonyx figures, but this one is probably one of my favorite because of how adjustable and poseable it is. So let's start a new line right up here as the next in size. Over here, we've got an older Ceratosaurus figure. This one is the brown and orange version, and it's got the action button on its back to activate the jaw. Let's set this down right next to the Baryonyx. Over here is a crazy looking figure. This is the Rowdy Roars Dilophosaurus. Let's go ahead and turn on the power, and let's see what it does. So you can touch the button on its head, or you can tap its chin, and it'll walk around. This one right next to it is the Majungasaurus. It's got some bright detailing running along its neck and its head, and with this figure you can use the tail to move the head around in a real lifelike way. And finally, for this carnivore biggest to smallest collection is a Sarcosuchus figure. It's got the long, narrow snout, and there's a button on its tail to open and close its mouth, too. checking out some of Jurassic World's best carnivore figures and arranging them from biggest all the way to the smallest. Plus, I've got some new ones that we're gonna check out as well. The first and largest figure is this super colossal Carnotaurus Toro figure. It has the dark orange body with the brown coloring on top, tons of little spikes, and the huge horns on its head. Next up in size is this super colossal Velociraptor blue figure. This figure features the classic blue stripe down the side, and it has fully poseable arms, legs, and a jaw, too. Next up in size is another Velociraptor blue figure, but this one is a bit different. This figure is battery operated, so let's see what happens when we turn it on. That 
hat is pretty cool. It blinks and its eyes move, and it even has sound effects. Moving on to the next in size, let's go with this custom colored Spinosaurus figure. This figure features way more intricate and cool coloring than the original Mattel figure featured. It features posable arms, legs, and a tail, and even the neck and the jaw. Let's set this figure down next to the robotic Velociraptor blue figure. Next up, why don't we go with this Terran T-Rex figure. This T-Rex has some of the classic brown and tan coloring. And best of all, it features an awesome tearing feature when you press the button on its back. Look at that jaw chomping action. And we're gonna set this down as the next biggest dinosaur in this carnivore collection. Over here is another Terran T-Rex, but this one was actually custom colored. Let's set them down side by side so we can see the color differences. This one is a lot darker and it actually has a lot more battle damage painted all over its body. And look at that, even some more battle damage on the other side. That is really cool. Let's set this down next in line. For the next in size, we're gonna go with this camouflage T-Rex figure. This is one of my favorite custom colored dinosaurs because of this really cool green camo color that has all over its body. And this figure has a chomping action when you move its tail and a roaring action too. This figure is super cool, so let's set this as the next biggest dinosaur. For the next biggest carnivore figure, we're gonna go with this Camp Cretaceous Epic Roarin' T-Rex. This figure has the classic tan body, and it features a button on its tail for a roaring and chomping action. This one is definitely cool, so let's set this down next in size. Looks like we've got a few more T-Rex figures in here. Here is another green T-Rex, but this one isn't custom colored. This is actually how it came. It's got some black detailing along the top of its head, and it has a button on the top of its head for the chomping and roaring action. Plus, its arms and legs and tail and neck are fully posable, just like many of these other T-Rex figures. All right, here might be one of my last T-Rex figures in this carnivore collection. This one is the classic bright orange, and it features opposable arms, legs, tail, neck, and jaw too. Why don't we dig into this one next? This is part of the new epic attack series from Jurassic World. This is the battle champion Carnotaurus. And here it is. It looks like it has three different action buttons on this Carnotaurus figure. The first two are light and sound effect buttons that you can push for different sounds. So depending on how many times you press these buttons, it has different sound effects. And the third button is a classic chomping action button. The color and texturing design is pretty similar to the older Carnotaurus figures. It's mostly that clay red orange color. It has some brown detailing throughout. And of course, it's got the bright yellow eyes. Overall, this figure is pretty cool. I love the fact that there are different sound effects and different battle damage buttons. All right, let's set this next in line as the next largest carnivore figure. Over here, we've got the Scorpios Rex figure from Camp Cretaceous. And it has two action buttons on its back. The first operates the jaw with the sound effects. And the second button on its back activates the claws for a slashing action. That is pretty cool and it is quite a large figure and it is the next in size. For our next one, let's grab this classic Endoraptor figure. This is the grab and growl Endoraptor, and it is pretty hard to find online nowadays. I don't think they're making this one anymore. It's got one button on the top of its tail for the claw slashing action, and another button on the bottom of its tail for a jaw chomping action. All right, this figure is pretty awesome. So let's set this next in line as the next biggest. Over here, I've got another Carnotaurus figure, but this one is quite a bit older. I think this one came out for the second Jurassic World movie, which was Fallen Kingdom. As you can see, they're a slightly different red color, and this figure is a little bit smaller than that one as well. But it still has one button on its back for the chomping action. Very cool. All right, let's set this down. This next figure is really long, but it's actually a little bit shorter than the Carnotaurus figure, which is why it's next in line. This, I believe, was called the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus figure. You can move all of its fins and its jaw opens and closes too. All right, let's keep going. Let's go with this Jurassic Park 
juvenile T-Rex figure. This figure is quite old. You can see the JP tattoo on its leg. It's got some battle damage on its side as well. Let's set this one down next in line. For the next figure, why don't we go with another old figure? This is from Jurassic Park 3. And I believe this dinosaur is a Velociraptor. And it used to be battery operated, but sadly it doesn't work anymore. But it's still a really cool figure. So let's set this down next to the T-Rex. Up next for scary carnivores, we've got a Suchomimus figure. This version is the dark blue with the yellow spine and it has one button on its back for the chomping action. And let's set this down next in line right here. For the next in size, let's see, I think we should go with the sound surge dinosaurs. This first one is the Giganotosaurus sound surge. Let's check out those sound effects. Very cool, let's set this down next to the Suchomimus. The other Sound Surge dinosaur in this carnivore collection is the Sound Surge Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now let's hear the sound effects for this figure. And we're going to set it down right next to the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus. Next up is this Rowdy Roars Carnotaurus figure. It is the classic clay red and orange coloring with the brown on top. It's got a little battle damage on its nose too. Compared to the epic attack figure, this one is a whole lot smaller and is a little bit brighter and of course has much larger eyes. All right, let's set this down next to the T-Rex. The next in size is this Cryolophosaurus figure. This version has the dark blue body with the white and orange on the top. And this figure comes with sound effects and when you move the tail, it controls the head. All right, let's set this down next to the Carnotaurus. Up next, we've got a Baryonyx figure. I think this one might be a Camp Cretaceous Baryonyx. And it's got the slide lever action on its back for different roars and sound effects. So let's set this up next in line. I've also got a custom Hammond Collection Spinosaurus figure. It has the red running along its back and on its face, and it's got the blue, brown, and red spine, which is actually pretty similar to this other custom colored Spinosaurus figure that I have in the front. So we're gonna set this one down next in line. Over here is the Hammond Collection Baryonyx figure. It's got pretty similar coloring as this Camp Cretaceous Baryonyx figure right here. It's even got a little bit of that reflective blue coloring on its face. And let's set this one down right at the very end right here. Next up is not a dinosaur, but is actually an Owen figure from Jurassic World. This figure has the classic brown vest with the blue shirt underneath. And we're running out of room at the end of the table, so I'm gonna start a new line right up here in front. For the next in size is this Dilophosaurus figure. I believe this Dilophosaurus came out for the first Jurassic World movie and is not made by Mattel, but actually I think it's made by Hasbro. And it even has an action that when you press down on its tail, it moves its neck up and down. Let's go ahead and grab this little Velociraptor blue figure. Now this figure is actually motorized, so when you press the top of its head, it comes with sound effects and chomping motions. And now we finally get to open this other new figure. This is the Epic Attack Dilophosaurus figure. Now it looks like this Dilophosaurus figure has one button on its side and it looks like it is for the sound effects and light. And I think it actually comes with a few different sound effects too. Let's press it again. That's pretty cool. It's like a strobing light when you press it. It looks like its legs and arms are poseable and you can open and close its mouth manually, but sadly you can't move the frills at all. So you can't bring them forward, which is a bit of a bummer if you ask me, but it is a pretty cool design. So let's set this Dilophosaurus down next to Velociraptor Blue. All right, we've only got a few small figures left. I've got two Atrociraptor figures right here. This first Atrociraptor is in the classic white and tan coloring. And this other Atrociraptor figure that I bought more recently is brighter colored. It's got some red on its arms, its neck, and its chin. And we're gonna set these two up next in line. Over here, I've got another Dilophosaurus figure quite a bit smaller. They're both green and they have some yellow, orange, and red detailing along their frills. But this figure is actually pretty cool because you can press on the tail to activate its frills. That is really cool. 
Up next is another Velociraptor figure, but this is a slashing Velociraptor. That means that its torso is actually spring-loaded, so you can swing it side to side for a slashing action. And let's put this one right here. I've got another raptor over here. This one is a pyro raptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the feathers all over its body and the especially large feathers on the top of its head. And let's set this raptor down next in line. And now we're on to the really small figures over here. First up is a baryonyx with the dark brown and blue coloring. And you can open and close its jaw too. Next up is a stalking endoraptor figure with the gold stripe running down its side. Up next is a teeny tiny Mosasaurus figure. Look how small it is in comparison to this giant figure right there. But you can still open and close its mouth, which is pretty cool. And finally, I've got a tiny Pteranodon figure with some brown detailing on its wings, on its back, and on its horn. Welcome to Amazing Dinosaurs, I'm Dave, and this is a collection of Jurassic World's most popular carnivores. Let's get started with this huge Spinosaurus in the back over here. This figure is actually pretty special. It is the battle damage Spinosaurus that is pretty hard to find now. You can even open up its ribs and show its stomach inside. Next up, we've got a classic T-Rex figure from Camp Cretaceous. This is the epic Roaring T-Rex. As you can see, it has a controllable neck and jaw, and you can also move its arms and its legs too. Next up is the massive Indominus Rex figure. This figure from Jurassic World is even even larger than many of my T-Rex figures. It has a button on the tail to control the jaw, and you can see that it actually has a little compartment to eat smaller dinosaurs, and a button on its back to slash the arms. Next, we've got the Giganotosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This figure has some of the coolest attack buttons that I've seen. The first one is a massive slashing action, and then there's also a jaw chomping button too. Back here, we've got the new T-Rex figure from the new 93 Jurassic Park collection. It has a bright red body with a yellow underbelly, and this figure has the stomach compartment, so you can actually feed it a ton of smaller dinosaurs. Next up is the new Hunt and Chomp T-Rex from the Dino Trackers collection. It's got the headpiece and a really cool attack feature. It's got a little side-to-side -side chomping action. Here's another carnivore that I bought recently. This is the new Legacy Collection T-Rex. It has a dark green body with some detailing along the top, a fully posable neck and head. You can adjust the legs, the arms, and the tail. And of course, there's a button at the top for chomping the jaw. Here is another Legacy Collection T-Rex, but this one is a bit older than the previous one. It still has a green body with different accenting along the top, and you can adjust the neck, the legs, the arms, and the tail, and there's the button for chomping and roaring. Here is the Scorpios Rex figure from Camp Cretaceous. It's got a black body with the yellow underbelly. It has a spring-loaded tail for those poisonous quills, and it has two buttons on its back, one for chomping its jaw, and one for slashing its arms. This next carnivore is the Jurassic World Dominion Battle Damage T-Rex. It has the dark orange brown coloring with detailing along the top and the battle damage on the side that you can turn on and off with the click of a button. Here's another carnivore from Jurassic World Dominion. This is the Battle Damage Allosaurus. It is one of the largest Allosaurus figures I have and it has huge battle damage right here on the side. And just like the Spinosaurus we saw earlier, you can lift up the ribs and see the stomach underneath. And not only that, but it also has a chomping button on its back to activate its sound effects. 
This next carnivore is an older figure. This is a Jurassic Park vintage figure. I believe this is the Utah Raptor. It has the real feel skin texture along its body, although its arms and its legs are hard plastic. Check that out. You can even move the claws on its feet up and down too. And it has a whole body chomping motion when you press down on its tail. Here's another older figure, but not quite as old as Jurassic Park. This is from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and this is an Indoraptor figure, specifically the Grab and Growl Indoraptor. It's one of my larger figures of this species, and you can use the tail to move the head around in a really lifelike way. There's also a button to swing its arms and a button to chomp its jaw, too. This next figure is one that I just bought. It is the Hammond Collection Irritator figure. So let's open it up and check it out. And here it is, the brand new Irritator figure. It obviously looks pretty similar to the other Irritator figures, but it has a new color scheme. It's kind of like a gray-brown color over most of its body with these bright yellow stripes running all the way to its tail. And on its head, it has a lot of black on its nose and on its chin. And its crown is a bright orange color. And of course, since it's a Hammond Collection figure, it is super poseable and adjustable to make it look really lifelike when you're posing it on your display shelf. The next carnivore is a Carnotaurus figure. And I believe this figure is from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So it's a pretty old figure too. It has the red coloring on the side and kind of a purplish coloring on the top and a single button for a chomping action. I've got another T-Rex here, but this one's pretty special. This is a custom painted camo T-Rex. And not only that, but it is also a battle damage T-Rex. You can see right there that you can still flip it to reveal the battle damage underneath. That is a really good job that they did painting that. And you can see that it's got bright green all over, some browns, some blacks, that'll really make it blend into the jungle. This carnivore right over here is called the Pyroraptor. You probably recognize this from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. And this figure is the basic edition, so there's no attack feature but you can still adjust its legs, its arms, and its tail too. I've still got quite a few more T-Rexes in here. This one is a bright orange and brown T-Rex, and it has the fully posable body and the button at the top of the head to activate the chomping action. I believe this next dinosaur figure is called the Ichthyovenator. It has a dark green body and a super bright neon green coloring along its spine, along its back, and along its tail. And interestingly, this is one of the few figures that has a spine on its tail. And this figure has an attack feature that when you press down on its body, it has a chomping action. Here is another T-Rex. This is the Battle Damage Edition T-Rex. So like the camouflage T-Rex that we saw earlier, but this is the normal painting for it. You can see that it has a soft brown coloring with some gray along the top and a yellow underbelly. And there's the button at the top of its back to activate the battle damage. Plus its head and neck are fully adjustable too. Here's a smaller carnivore figure. This is a Pteranodon figure. This one comes in the gray coloring and it has some purple detailing on its feet, on some of its wingtip, and all over its head too. Plus it has a button on its back to activate a wing flapping action. This carnivore figure, I believe, is called the Ceratosaurus. It has some gray coloring with some darker detailing and the bright red along its back and all over its face. Plus it has a slide lever action on its back for sound effects and chomping. Now let's open up our next brand new dinosaur figure to add to my collection. This is the Hammond Collection Metriacanthosaurus, and it is part of the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. Here it is. It's a pretty unique looking dinosaur. Its head shape is quite a bit different, and it has a pretty cool color scheme too. It's got some bright orange on its face, and then some light tan on its body with the darker streaks on the top. And of course, it is super poseable. You can pose it in all different lifelike ways. Up next in the carnivore collection is another T-Rex in the classic brown coloring. This figure is very similar to the others in that you can pose the arms, the legs, the tail, the neck, and the head has the button at the top for the chomping action. 
I've got another Allosaurus figure in this carnivore collection. This one is in a dark green coloring with some white and red detailing. And it has an action on its back for sound effects and a chomping action. This next figure is actually another Allosaurus figure, but it is from the vintage Jurassic Park collection. And it's a battle damage Allosaurus, so you can actually take off whole parts of its body to reveal the battle damage underneath. Check that out. You can see the bones right here, and you can see some of its organs in there too. And here is another T-Rex figure, one of the most popular carnivore figures in Jurassic World. This T-Rex figure has a sound effect button on the bottom of its foot, so you can hear stomp sound effects, although it's out of batteries right now. And you can use the tail for a roaring action and moving it side to side, as well as a chomping action. That is pretty cool. Next up is a green Baryonyx figure. It also has some brown detailing and darker green along its back. Plus it has the action button on its back for sound effects and chomping. I've got a Velociraptor figure in here in the orange version. Now this figure is a basic edition, so it doesn't have any big attack feature, but of course you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. Here's another Velociraptor figure. This one I believe is from the Amber Collection. So it is super poseable and has a slightly better detailing and paint job on it. This next weird looking figure is a Giganotosaurus figure. You can open up its mouth, but it is actually from the Gujitsu series. So you can actually stretch it and you can see that there's tiny little beads inside. So it's kind of like a stress ball. Up next is another Pteranodon figure, but this one is in a dark green coloring. It has a light underbelly and some bright green detailing along its wings. And of course it has the button on its back for the flapping action. Here is another Velociraptor figure. I believe this one is from the Hammond collection though. So it's quite small, but it is extremely poseable and it has much better shading and detailing than most of the typical Velociraptor figures. The next carnivore is another Monoophosaurus figure. I believe this one is from Camp Cretaceous and it has the green body with the yellow detailing and the red along the top of its face. Plus it has an action button that when you move the tail, it has a chomping action. This is another one of those Gujitsu figures, and this is a Mosasaurus figure. You can open up its jaw, and it has the squishy body that you can stretch around, and you can actually squeeze the body to reveal what's on the inside. And it looks like a bunch of fish bones in there. Here's another Monolophosaurus figure. This one is in a super bright green coloring with the darker green and red along the top of its face with the same chomping action as the one we just saw. Right over here is another Velociraptor figure. This one is green, it has some gray, and some really cool green detailing along its back. And here is another Gujitsu figure. This is a Pyroraptor, so you can open and close its mouth, and its body, once again, is squishy, and this one is super stretchy. And I think you can actually see something on the inside. There we go, there are some feathers, it looks like on the inside of its body. Over here is a miniature Dilophosaurus figure. It has frills that you can open and close that are super bright. They've got yellow and red coloring, while the rest of its body is a green color. This figure is a juvenile T-Rex figure, so it is a whole lot smaller than many of the other T-Rex figures that I've shown you, and it has the bright green coloring and a chomping action when you move its tail. And finally, we've got Velociraptor Blue. This figure specifically, I think, is from the Snap Squad. So you can actually press it down and it snaps shut and it'll actually cling on to stuff. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are checking out my collection of Jurassic World Predators versus Herbivores. Let's get started with these brand new ones that I just bought. Here is a huge one. This is the Isla Sorna capture pack. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, here is our Jurassic World Jeep and the Parasaurophilus. With this Jeep, there's actually a button you can press that shoots out the seat. And then you can see that there's a missile that it shoots too, just like this. That's super cool. This is a super awesome dino hunting playset. Really cool. All right, up next, we've got a Jurassic World Legacy Collection Velociraptor. Let's get this out of the box. All 
All right, so here is the brand new Velociraptor. I don't think I actually have a Velociraptor with this type of coloring. Plus, this Velociraptor has a slashing action with its torso. Look at that spinning motion. That is so cool, it's spring-loaded, so it bounces back and forth. That is really awesome. All right, up next, we've got the Pachycephalosaurus. I love the coloring on this one. It's got that dark blue with the gray. Let's get this out of the box. This is a super cool herbivore. You definitely don't want to get headbutted by this dinosaur. Check out this action move. Spring-loaded head. That is so awesome. And right back here, we've got the Cosmoceratops. That is so interesting. Look at all the horns all over this one's body. Let's get it out of the box. Wow, I love the way this dinosaur looks. It looks like it's wearing a crown almost. And look at the horns on the side too. And this dinosaur has an action as well. Check that out. When you wiggle the tail, the head goes up and down. How cool is that? All right, I know you've been looking at this one. This is a giant Velociraptor. Look how big this figure is. It's probably, oh, I don't know, maybe three feet from tail to head. And it's actually pretty heavy too. This dinosaur has a stomach compartment right here. So you can actually feed this dinosaur littler dinosaurs or whatever you want and it'll go down the throat all the way into the stomach where you can open it up and get those toys out again that is so awesome and look at the size of these claws too right in the back here we've got the great tyrannosaurus rex look at the size of this dinosaur look at the size of its body that is a huge neck and face and of course, there's the action button for roaring. That is so cool. There's so many teeth in its mouth. And of course, you can wiggle the tail and it'll move its head back and forth. Up next, with a super long neck, we've got the awesome Brachiosaurus. Look at that interesting bump on its head right there. That is so cool. This figure doesn't have any movable parts, but it is super realistic with its coloring and its texture. That is so cool. And one of the next huge dinosaurs in this haul, the great Indominus Rex with battle damage. Look at all those teeth and the awesome battle damage on the side that you can turn on and turn off. There we go. Right up here, we've got a Stegosaurus with a gray-blue coloring. Look at that tail swiping action. That is so cool. And you can adjust the head too. Here's one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. That is super awesome. It's got a little battle damage on its head. And with the tail, you can move the head. Here's what I think is one of the scariest predators in Jurassic World. This is the Scorpios Rex. It's got loads of teeth in its mouth, super sharp claws, and look at this poisonous tail. Those quills on its tail are poisonous, so you better watch out for those. Here is a super bright dinosaur. This is a predator. It is the Sucomimus. Look at that long mouth with all those teeth. Kind of like an alligator, really. And look at that fin all along its back right there. Right over here is an herbivore. This is the Ankylosaurus. And look at all that armor plating. Here is a scary looking predator. Look at that red all along its neck. This is the Carcharodontosaurus. This is a super cool looking dinosaur. See all those spikes along its back? That is super awesome. Right over here, this predator looks kind of like an alligator too. This is the Sarcosagus with all those teeth in its mouth 
and this red scaling all along its back and then the green bottom. <laughs> all right, we've got a bunch more predators and herbivores in here. These two are both Carcharodontosauruses and look at the difference in coloring too. I think this one's my favorite because I love this orange right along the top of its body. But these are both super cool dinosaurs. Right over here, we've got another herbivore. And look at the horns on this. It kind of reminds me of the horns of a bull, kind of. This is a Nasudoceratops. And it's got an action button in the back. It can whip its tail back and forth. That is super awesome. And it's got a button on the top for swinging its horns around too. Watch out for those horns. All right, let's keep digging. Ooh, this is an interesting looking herbivore. This is a Calivosaurus. I love the coloring on this. Got the yellow on the top and the dark blue on the sides. And you can move the head up and down and the tail and all the legs too. Uh oh, better watch out. Here's another predator. It's the Baryonyx. This is super cool. Check out that chomping action. Here is another herbivore. This is a very uniquely colored dinosaur. This is a Zuniceratops, and it kind of reminds me of a Triceratops, you know? See those two horns in the front right there? That is super cool. I've got some smaller herbivores in here. Let's check these out. Wow, these are all so different from each other. This is a Chialingosaurus. Look at those spikes on its shoulder too. How interesting is that? This little one right here is a Protoceratops. It looks very small and it might be a uh, young Protoceratops, but it is super cool. This orange dinosaur is a Gallimimus. Look at that long neck and the long tail. I bet these dinosaurs ran really fast. And this little dinosaur is a Triceratops. See, got the three horns on its head right there. But wait, we've got some more predators in here. Look out, it's the Endoraptor, one of the sneakiest and smartest dinosaurs out there. Let's check out these. This is a baby Brachiosaurus. You can open and close its mouth and move its neck up and down. And this is another giant Stegosaurus. It's got that tail swinging action. Those spikes are super big. Wow, that is so neat. Here comes another predator. This is the Spinosaurus. Look at that huge spine along its back and then all those teeth right up front. All right, we've got a few more dinosaurs in here. This huge dinosaur figure is a Pentaceratops. And check out these action buttons. Those are some massive horns on its head. Right back here, we've got another Paraceropholis. And this is an older one. This is actually from Jurassic Park. And it's got a running action too. How cool is that? Super cool. We've got just a few dinosaurs left. This dinosaur is called a Cynoceratops. And look at the size of that one horn on its head in the very front. That is humongous. Right, here's another predator. This is a bright red and green Velociraptor with jumping action. Check that out. Here he goes, ready and go. All right, these are our final three dinosaurs of the Predator versus Herbivore collection. This is a Styracosaurus. And look at all those horns, that is super cool. This interesting looking one is a Shringosaurus. Look at those huge horns right on the top of its head and the super long neck. How interesting is that? And our final dinosaur of the bin is the mighty Kentrosaurus. 
with those huge spikes on its side. And if you pull this lever right here, it swings its spikes back and forth. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaur Channel, everyone. Today, we are unboxing all of my largest carnivore toys, starting with this Indominus Rex right here. As you can see, it starts with the blue, and then it fades into a nice purple, and then it's got these black stripes with the orange outline. I really like this one. This is probably one of my most colorful dinos in my collection. Moving right along, we've got this hybrid Indominus Rex right here. Check this out. It's got the gold bottom, the white sides, and then the super bright red along the top. And this hybrid Indominus Rex does have some features too. First of all, this button and out of the top, bam, comes some spikes. Also, if you uh, pull its arm right here, its jaw moves up and down. It's battery operated, so it'll roar at the same time too. Let's check that out. This one is also one of my brightest predators in my collection as well. So it's one of my favorites too. Let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, I see another big one right in here. Check this out. This is an old school Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex. The whole body is made out of rubber, so it's kind of like bendable and you can see it moves quite a bit. Inside the mouth, you see that if you open it up, that there's actually a lot of space down the throat so you can fit smaller dinos in there if you want this dinosaur to eat them. Here is another rubber-coated Tyrannosaurus Rex. So you can see the whole body is like a little bit squishy, which gives it a lot more of a realistic look and feel. It feels more like actual skin. And when you squeeze the stomach here, the mouth opens and closes a little bit too. Next up, we've got this super colorful Spinosaurus. So right on the spine right there, you can see this unique coloring. It's like blue rings on its spine and the rest of the body is like brown. It's got some tan coloring as well. And on the face and on the spine a little bit has this dark red color too. And look at those green eyes. Those are some hungry looking eyes right there. And here is another T-Rex. Let's check this one out. It has two buttons on the back. Ooh, look at that. It's got a twisting action with its jaw. And the other button swings its tail back and forth. All right, all the way in the back here, I can see this ginormous Indominus Rex. So this is the normal coloring for an Indominus Rex. If you look on the side right here, you can see that we've got the battle damage. And if you press the button on top, it'll change back and forth between damaged and fully healed. And as you can hear as well, it's got those awesome sound effects coming out of the speaker. And of course, we've got the button on the tail that controls the mouth. Next up, we've got another rubber-coated T-Rex. This one you can see is an older one. It's from the Jurassic Park series. So the legs move and the legs are actually uh, solid plastic. It's just the body right here. That's that rubber coating. And on this T-Rex, if you wiggle the tail back and forth, you can see that the neck also goes back and forth too.
let's check out this hybrid T-Rex right here. Right on the top, it's got those spikes that pop out when you press this button. See right here? Bam! Look at those huge spikes, and it's got some spikes on the top of its head too. And the legs move, the arms move, and the jaw as well. This is a cool hybrid T-Rex. I haven't seen that many like this one. Let me know down in the comments, have you seen a hybrid T-Rex like this before? Over here in this corner is a T-Rex, but it's got some different coloring. See, it's like camouflage almost. It's got that green and then the black stripes and like a, a brown green stripes as well. So this T-Rex, I bet, would blend in really well in the jungle. And like some of the other T-Rex toys I have, when you move the tail, the head will move as well. Let's check that out. Look at that. It's got a, it's got a huge chomping action. Over here, we've got another big old Spinosaurus. This one with a bit more natural coloring. You can see it's mostly green. The spine on its back is red with a white stripe on it. And we've still got that red coloring on its face up here too. And if you press the button on its head, it roars. Next up, we've got this T-Rex predator. And with a tail, you can twist the tail and the head spins. We've also got the action button on the tail. When you press it, it opens its mouth. And look at these teeth too. Man, some of these are really big. Look at the different size teeth that are all in the mouth. And here is another huge Indominus Rex. This is a lot like the other one that we saw just a moment ago from this bin. And on the tail, just like the other one, we've got this action button that'll make the dinosaur roar. And look at that, there's even some space in its mouth that you could fit a few small dinosaurs in there too. And I think on the Indominus Rex, these teeth are probably even more massive than a T-Rex's teeth in real life. Just look at those. On top over here, we've got a Carnotaurus. Look at these tiny little arms right there. It's got the... Ooh, it roars too. And look at when you twist the tail here. Its head moves as well. All right, another T-Rex. This one is... It looks kind of tan, almost a little orangish, really. And it's got the adjustable head right here, the button on top of its head. That'll make the dinosaur open its jaw. And as usual, adjustable legs and adjustable tail. Ooh, look at this one. It's another T-Rex. Man, I have so many T-Rexes. So this one, even though it doesn't have the camouflage coloring like that other T-Rex we saw earlier, this one is still brown and like a dark brown on top. So this would still camouflage into the jungle pretty well. I mean, it's kind of the same color as a tree, you know? So I think this would still blend in to the jungle and you probably wouldn't see it sneaking up on you until it was too late. Over here in the back, we've got a Jurassic World Indominus Rex. And this one is actually a bit different from the other Indominus Rexes that we've seen in this haul so far because the hands actually activate the jaw. So when you move the arms and hands down, the jaw opens super wide. And the top of this Indominus Rex actually has that rubber coating as well. So it's all like soft up here and it feels like real skin and then the rest of the body is that normal plastic that you see on these dinosaur toys. And next up here we've got a T-Rex with a darker brown 
coating on the side and then an even darker brown on the top. And again, with these buttons, with the top button, when we press that, twist his neck and snaps his jaw shut. That's pretty powerful. And then the other button moves the tail back and forth. Let's keep digging in here. Let's see. Check out this T-Rex. So this one is actually a bit different from the other ones we've seen because when you twist the tail, it's got that huge stomping action. That's really cool. And a button on top that operates the mouth. All right, and here is our final T-Rex in the bin. This one is one of the more orange ones. And when you move the tail, just like the others, the head moves. Did you know that humans and T-Rexes have almost the same amount of bones in their body? That's crazy to think about. Humans have 206 bones and T-Rexes have 200. That's pretty close. All right, we've only got two more dinosaurs in here. Let's check them out. Here is another classic Indominus Rex. Look at those movable arms, movable legs, and the button for the jaw. And for our final dinosaur in our biggest carnivore haul is the Spinosaurus. It's got the button on top to open up the mouth and the classic spine. Look how big that spine is too. All right, that's it for today's haul. Comment below which predator is your favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a ton of Predator dinosaur figures from the Camp Cretaceous collection. And I've even got some huge brand new ones to open up today. Let's go ahead and start with these brand new ones. Let's start with the biggest one at the bottom here. This is the super colossal Indominus Rex. Let's open it up. This thing is already huge. Let's get those legs and tail on. Here is the fully assembled super colossal Indominus Rex. So first off, it has the typical coloring that uh, the smaller Indominus Rexes have. But when you open up the mouth, you can see that there's a tunnel that goes all the way down into the stomach compartment right here. So you can actually feed this Indominus Rex miniature dinosaurs and then empty it out through the stomach right here. That is super cool. Plus, even though this thing is huge, it still is fully adjustable. Of course, you can adjust the jaw. You can also twist the neck. You can adjust the arms up and down. You can move the legs and ankles. And of course, you can move the tail. All in all, I'd say this dinosaur is probably around two feet tall and maybe three feet long. We've still got two brand new dinosaurs to open up. Let's start with the Albertosaurus. All right, so this is a medium sized dinosaur. As you can see, it is a mostly green dinosaur, but it has those red striping on its side from the head all the way to its stomach on both sides. And there's an action button on the tail. If you press the button, it chomps the jaw. Plus, if you twist the tail, it moves its head back and forth like that. I have a few other Albertosauruses. Some of them even have battle damage on the side. This one does not, so this is just the normal primal attack Albertosaurus. Next up, we've got a feeding frenzy Indominus Rex. 
Let's open it up. All right, here is the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. Let's check it out. So it has the same coloring as the huge one that we just saw. And it has this huge face and jaw too. This dinosaur comes with tons of sound effects and it comes with this piece of meat. Let's see what happens when you feed it. So it's making some growling noises. And when it hits the trigger in there, its eyes start glowing too. That is pretty cool. And I love how big the teeth are on this dinosaur as well. Just look at that. Those are so huge. Right up top here, we've got another Indominus Rex. This one is still huge, not quite as huge as the super colossal one that we just opened up. And as you can see, it's colored kind of the same. It has some dark gray on the top and a lighter gray on the sides. It's got those orange eyes. And this dinosaur has two action buttons on it. First, you've got the tail button that activates the jaw. And then you've got a button on its back that activates the slashing action. All in all, this is a really cool Indominus Rex figure. <laughs> Up next, we've got a giant Spinosaurus with dark green coloring on the sides. And on its spine, there's red, white, and a little bit of green at the bottom. Plus, this Spinosaurus is fully adjustable with the neck, the arms, the legs, and the tail. And of course, you can press the button on the top of its head to open its jaw. This is a super awesome figure and huge. Right up here, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I believe that this one was custom colored. So you won't really see coloring like this on other T-Rexes that you can get. But look how cool it is. It's bright red, black on the top, and then the orange on the sides. It almost looks like the T-Rex is on fire. That is so awesome. Back here, we've got another T-Rex. This one is normal color. It's got brown on the sides, a darker brown on the top, and the tan belly. Plus, this dinosaur has a few action buttons as well. You can move the tail, and it moves its head around, which I really like, it's super realistic. And there's even a button on the tail that you can press to open its jaw. Back here, we've got another T-Rex, but this one is battle damage. Look at that, right on the side. And pressing the button, you can turn it on and off. That is super awesome. And this T-Rex is fully adjustable with the legs, tail, neck, and the jaw as well. Back here, we've actually got another battle damage T-Rex, but this one is a bit different than the other one. Instead of having the thing on its side right here, you can see that there's a bunch of slashes all over its body, on the tail, on its legs, on its belly, and even on its face. And just like the other T-Rexes, this is fully adjustable. You can move the tail, the legs, the arms, the neck, and this one has a button at the top to make it roar. Here is another giant Spinosaurus with different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is mostly brown with the red detailing. You can see along its face, it's got that bright red coloring as well as along its spine. And even on the top, you can see that there's a lighter tan and then a dark brown color right along the top. That is super cool. Fully adjustable and it has the button on the head that you can use to open its jaw. Up next, we've got the mighty Carcharodontosaurus. This dinosaur is a mostly tan yellow coloring, but you can see that there's orange and brown striping all the way up to its head. And this dinosaur has an action button as well. With the button on its back, you can do the chomping action. Here is the Tarbosaurus. This dinosaur has totally different coloring. It is a dark gray color with black stripes all along its body. It's got those spikes all along its spine and right on its chin and on its neck is a bright red color. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with its arms, legs, tail. The tail actually controls the head and the button on the tail controls the jaw as well. Here's another fierce predator. This is an Allosaurus. It's a dark green color with red and white speckles on its neck and face. And it is fully adjustable and it's got this slide action. That is super awesome. 
Right over here, we've got the great Metriocanthosaurus. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a yellow green color on the sides. It's got the green coloring on top with the action button that controls its jaw. And it is fully adjustable in the legs and arms as well. Right over here, we've actually got a few Baryonyxes with totally different coloring. This first one, gray coloring with blue and a bright blue on the top, and it has a slide action for its roars. This second Baryonyx is brown colored, and it has blue detailing on the top and a bright orange top of the head. And the action button on this dinosaur activates the jaw. All right, here's another massive predator. This is a Carnotaurus. This dinosaur can be controlled by its tail. When you move its tail, it moves its head around. There's also a button on the tail to activate the jaw. And I love the coloring on this. This is like a dark brown red color with speckles of like a gray color as well. So it's quite detailed and fully adjustable as usual too. Right over here, we've got a super long nosed dinosaur. This is the Sarcosagus. This is a clay red color on the top. Look at all those spikes along the top of its body. And along the bottom is a dark green color. But I love the detail of all those spikes along its back. That really gives it a strong texture. That's really cool. And the tail, of course, controls the head so you can move the head around. Right back here, we've got a winged dinosaur. I'm sure you recognize this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus, and it has two action buttons. The first on the top flaps its wings, and there's actually one on the bottom that controls the mouth. Oh, here's a dinosaur you don't see too much of. This is a Ceratosaurus. This dinosaur is gray with splotches of dark brown and of course the red back and the super bright red face with the white horn on the very top. This dinosaur has an action button on its back that controls its jaw and the rest of its body is fully adjustable. Right back here is another Sarcosagus, but this one has totally different coloring. It's got the blue bottom, the dark purple top, same spines though, and then it's got orange and red splotches all over its back. That is super cool. Here is another unusual predator. This is the Majungasaurus. This dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. Although it's mostly green in the back, it has those bright yellow coloring right along its back and that bright blue color right on its neck and on its head. And this figure has quite a lot of sound effects as you can hear. The tail also moves the head around so you can make it look super realistic. All right, this is another super noisy dinosaur. This is the Cryolophosaurus. This figure is dark blue around most of its body and it's got the orange head and neck as well. I love that accent. And with this tail, you can adjust the head and wiggle it around. How cool is that? Right here is a full-sized Allosaurus. I love the coloring on this dinosaur. It's got the tan yellow bottom and the bright blue top. That is so cool. I think we've actually got two Allosauruses here, both with different coloring. So let's check this one out first. This one has two action buttons on the top. The first controls its jaw and the second button controls its arms. How cool is that? The legs are fully adjustable and the tail you can twist as well. The second Allosaurus is mostly gray with the yellow splotches all along the top of its body. And this has one action button on its back where you press it and it controls the jaw. Right over here, we've got a brightly colored Suchomimus. This is a bright yellow with brown along its spine and this dinosaur has a few action buttons. The first controls its neck and jaw, and the second controls its tail. Plus, the rest of the figure is fully adjustable as well. 
Oh, here's actually a second Suchomimus with totally different coloring. This one is mostly blue along the entire body, but it's got the yellow detailing along its spine as well as those splotches. And this Suchomimus has one action on its back. When you press it down, it does a chomping action. All right, here's another Baryonyx with different coloring. This Baryonyx is light brown on the sides and the belly, and on the top has a dark blue coloring all along its back to the tail and to the head. But the coolest part of the coloring is this super reflective blue coloring right on its head. This Baryonyx is fully adjustable and it has one action button for its jaw. Here is another Cryolophosaurus. This one is differently colored than the last one that we saw. It's mostly yellow with the brown on the top and of course the bright orange crown on its head. This dinosaur is fully adjustable. You can move the tail to adjust the head. And of course, as you can hear, it comes with tons of sound effects. Here is another Metriacanthosaurus. But once again, different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is a bright red color with brown detailing all along its back. And on the head, you can see that it's got that bright orange and yellow coloring. There is one action button on this dinosaur and that controls the jaw. Up next, we've got another Carcharodontosaurus. Check out the coloring on this one. This is a bright blue coloring and it's got the brown and orange specks on its back and neck and right around its eye as well. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with legs, arms, and tail. And there's one action button on its back that when you press, it does a chomping action. All right, we've got another Baryonyx right here. This one is bright green with brown on the top. And as usual, the arms and legs are fully adjustable and there is one action button on the top that controls its jaw. All right, check this one out. I remember this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Dimetrodon. And look at that huge spine on its back. It's red with yellow speckles all over it. And with this dinosaur figure, when you wiggle the tail back and forth, it opens and closes its jaw. All right, I see a ton of Velociraptors in here. Let's pull a few out. This Velociraptor, is a green color with a darker green along the top and is fully adjustable. Even with the mouth, you can open and close. The second Velociraptor is different coloring. This is a blue along most of its body. It's got the tan bottom, but the coolest part of all, it's got the yellow along the top and a shining gold along its head. It's actually reflective, which is super cool. And this Velociraptor is mostly tan. You can see it along the bottom and the sides with the brown top. But most importantly, this Velociraptor has a slashing action. It is spring-loaded, so you can actually twist its torso back and forth, and it'll do this slashing action. All right, right over here, we've got a baby T-Rex with a jaw-chomping action, brightly green-colored and fully adjustable. And this is a Dilophosaurus. It is mostly gray-colored with darker gray along the top, but this Dilophosaurus actually has an action. When you move the tail, it activates its frills. That's so cool. We've still got more Velociraptors in here. Let's check them out. Here are four Velociraptors. The first is an orangish Velociraptor, and it has the slashing action. The next Velociraptor is a bright red color with green striping on the top. Look at how bright this Velociraptor is, and it is fully adjustable. The next Velociraptor is a classic one. This is blue, and it comes with battle damage on the side as well. And this Velociraptor is more of a yellow coloring with brown on the top. This one also comes with battle damage on the side as well. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. This is a Herrerasaurus. It is all green and it has different shades of green all along its body. And it is fully adjustable with the mouth, the neck, the arms, and the legs. 
Over here, we've got a weird looking dinosaur. This is the Shringosaurus. Look at those huge horns on its head and the brown coloring on the top and the yellow on the sides. This is quite the odd looking dinosaur. At least I think so. And our last two dinosaurs of this collection. First, we've got the Great Dimorphodon. This is mostly a gray color with a dark red along the bottom of its wings, but it's still fully adjustable with its legs, its mouth, its neck, and its wings. And this Velociraptor is a dark gray color with yellow detailing right along the top of it and is fully adjustable as well. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.